Hello, welcome to my culinary journey. I am Carolina. I am going to introduce you how to make baklava. For the ingredients, we will need filo pastry dough. We will need some melt butter. We will need for the filling. Traditional is made with pistachio, but it's so hard to find a good pistachio here. The best pistachio actually comes from Turkey, from the city of Gaziantep, where you can ever eat the best baklava. We will use some walnuts and some pistachios. And for the almibar, we will need water, sugar, and lemon juice. And of course, we will need a container where we will put our baklava. These are the kind of containers that are usually you see on the Turkish uh, sweet shops. But if you don't have around the container, you also can make in a rectangular baking dish. Make baklava is not really hard, but you need to have a very good quality butter and you need to have your filo pastry. And what we will do, we will take one piece of filo pastry, we put it in our baking dish, and we will brush with some melt butter. Traditional in Turkey, baklava is made with three layers of filo pastry. We will brush with some melt butter. We can put at least 10 layers of filo pastry brushed with butter. layer of filo pastry have been brushed with butter, we will take some ground walnuts and we will sprinkle. Also we will take some ground pistachios and we will sprinkle. Continue adding layers of filo pastry. We will brush again. After you put the last layer of filo pastry, you again you brush it with butter and you will take a knife. And you can cut in a square shape or you can cut in diamond shapes. Our baklava has been ready to be baked and we want to bake for about 40 minutes to 360 degrees. We want to bake until our baklava is golden color. It's another way that we can make baklava giving a different shape. What we'll do, we will take a piece of filo pastry, we will brush with some butter. We place another layer on top, we brush it again, and we will sprinkle 
a little, we will sprinkle a little bit of walnuts. Oklava. Oklava is a traditional rolling pin using in Turkish cuisine. It's a very thin rolling pin. And what we will do, we will roll over our oklava, the filo pastry, and we will make a little bit of pressure and we will pull out. You need to be very careful because if your filo pastry get dry, like in this case, it's going to break. You want to keep it covered with a towel to retain the moisture and to place it in a container. Now that our baklava is ready, we are going to prepare the almiva. For the almiva, we will need sugar, we will need some water and we will need lemon juice. We will pour the water in a small pan. We will add the sugar and we will add the lemon juice and we will cook our amoeba for about 20 to 25 minutes and then after, the, uh, then after we bake the baklava when we take out of the oven, we will pour this almiba on the top of our baklava and we are going to have a very delicious flavor of turkey. And I like to use wood spoon when I cook. You will stir it and you will cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. Our almiba will bake our baklava for about 40 minutes to 360 degrees. We are going to enjoy our baklava with a cup of Turkish tea. Now that our baklava is ready, we are going to pour the syrup on the top. Now that our baklava is ready, we can sprinkle with a little bit of pistachios on the top. And here we have a delicious baklava. For the baklava, I am going to prepare a traditional Turkish drink and it's called Turkish tea. The way how you make the Turkish tea, you need a special pot that is called Shindandi. Shindandi has Two pieces. On the bottom piece you will put some water and on the top you will put a little bit of water and you have a filter where you will put your tea. You will let it to boil. We will put the top piece. This is the traditional Turkish tea. It's called chai. And we will fill our filter with Turkish tea. We will cover our filter. We will place the filter inside of the top of the china lid. We will add just a tiny bit of water. And we will let it to boil. Our Turkish tea is called chai, it's boiling and it's ready. What we will do, we will take the top and we will pour a little bit of the hot water on the top of our pot where is the filter. And we will cover and we will let it rest for a few minutes. We are ready to enjoy a delicious piece of baklava with the traditional Turkish tea, 
Chai. the way how will we pour our turkey stick we will take our shotgun dip we will put a little bit from the tea that is on the top depend how strong you like it and you will add some hot water from the bottom and if you would like you can add a little bit of sugar We can enjoy the traditional Turkish baklava and Turkish chai. I feel awesome.